lost 2-0 uh, against Spurs in the North London derby. And, Tom, it really seems to have brought everything into sharp focus, the, the concerns that Arsenal fans have had, not just over this season, but over the past few seasons. Well, we all, we all saw it coming, didn't we? Yeah. I didn't say a deep breath because I've been told I've got to calm down, right? So I'm just I'm walking around Edgware Road, yeah. I don't know what I'm just don't know where I am right here, Kelly. Honestly, I'm in bits. So, you know, it's like, tell us. You're walking around in a daze. You walk around in a daze, Tom. Well, we all saw it coming. We all saw it coming, didn't yeah, we? But yeah. I mean, let's have it right. I, know, I tell you what, I didn't see coming either. It was gentrification of uh, football? You know, some of the callers you've had on here. I'm like, you know, like, where's the passion? I mean, look, let's have it right, yeah. Let's have it right, Ian. Let's have it right, Kelly, yeah? Right? I'm born into Arsenal Football Club. I don't have a choice. I work all week. I spend my money, a lot of money, to go and watch Arsenal. It's my passion. Mm. My heart's breaking. I've been watching it year after year after mm. year after year. We've been staring over the precipice. And now we're off it. We've gone. We're gone, though, mate. There's no... Co- how are we going to get back right? Help me, mate. Explain it. How have guns got in this situation? Because, you know, it, everyone's been telling them. Mm. These, these people, these Americans, these Yanks, they're ignorant to the facts. They've got no social conscience. They've got no historical conscience. They don't know anything. They've got no connection to the club. You know, this is this is my passion. Mm. This is a big part of my life, football. Well, it's breaking, mate. Finger's fingers in control of his own future. Mm. He decides and dictates when he's going. When the, well, who's going to come to Arsenal next year? He's off Sanchez. Who's will get rid of him? Ramsey will probably be off. You know? It's like players have been leaving Arsenal now to go and win stuff. You know, who's going to want to come to Arsenal? What managers are you going to get to? You've watched Klopp come and go to another club, you know? You've just seen Conte leave another club. You know, Guardiola's gone to Man City. Mm. All these top managers that are becoming available, Arsenal, what are they doing? What are they sitting on? You know? My loyalty, yeah? My loyalty and my passion has just been exploited year after year after year after year. And I'm sick of it, mate. I'm sick of it. I ain't going back there next year. I don't want another season ticket. I don't want to be abused. I want to be respected. A good pal of mine, yeah? Mm. Paul Vasson, yeah? He used to play for Arsenal. He's dead now, rest his soul. He couldn't walk properly. He had his legs fused together to play for the Gunners. Mm. He loved that club, you know? And what you got these people now? Where's the passion? Where's the passion? Bingo, why can't he see it? Why can't he see outside of himself, mate? Why can't he just do the honourable thing and go? You know, we always seem to have a run towards the end of the season, you know what I mean? And scrape into the Champions League, you know what I mean? Pick a cup up here along the way for the last 10 or whatever years, 12 years. It ain't good enough, mate. He ruined that club. He got rid of all the champion footballers in that club. Petty, Perez, Vera, Overmars. He got rid of them in the space of two seasons. He left a vulnerable, weak team and he's never he, he's never recreated it and he never will recreate it. I think he's he done, had, the fella's done. The, the problem, it's been done for years, mate. The problem he had with that, Tom, is that I think that there was a time with, with the stadium and having to pay for the stadium, what was going on, he couldn't keep hold of certain players um, simply because they, they, they ran out of patience with what was going on. It's, this, has been, this has been a long time coming. This has yeah, been a long right. time coming under... Under Kronk, and now it's got it's, it's reached ahead, and, and and what Wenger's done, and credit to him, is is he's kept it, he's kept the, he's kept us getting into the Champions League and kept us in the top four. And it's kind of papered over cracks, but what's happened during that time is everybody else is getting stronger, and we're getting weaker. People are caning a manager, saying that he's yesterday's man, he's saying all stuff like that. But I will still say we need to, to still concentrate on what's going on upstairs, because well, even if Wenger gonna... goes, what we're going to keep the same board. What is he doing? What's he doing Where for the, the gunners, club? Mate? Where are the Gunners? There's only three, two champion. There's only three champion clubs in in England, right? Yeah, Arsenal, yeah, Liverpool, Man United. Historic, historical champions of football. They haven't bought the trophy. They bought. They, they've progressed year after year. You're going back hundreds of years, mate. My dad, my granddad, my great granddad. You know, you're going back hundreds of years. Yeah, but it's moved on because what's that? Mate. Yeah, but Tom, there, seventeen points behind the Spurs. I mean, yeah. listen, good luck to the Spurs. Well done. You know what I mean? And look what they've done. And that's it. And they've closed the gap. Fair play to them. Do you know what I mean? But they've got to step in. They've got to get rid of this geezer. They've got to spend dough and get someone in. Look at Leicester. Ranieri, what a liberty. He's proved them right. Get him rid of Ranieri. You, the law is to the supporters, right? Yeah, but, yeah, the but they've, yeah, but they've got, they've got, they've got, they've got, they've got a ruthless money. board. They're over in America. They've what got are they a, doing? They've got a ruthless, but they're not doing anything. They're probably they not even here. Anything, mate. They ain't doing anything. And we're sinking. We're done, mate. Who's going to want to come to Arsenal? Alrighty, mate. I mean, you got to save me, son. I'm in peace, mate. You know what, Kels? I'm done. 
But righty, this is this is the point, isn't it? Is mm. that football clubs need to be run responsibly. There yeah. are plenty of supporters of clubs lower down the leagues who will say their clubs have been grossly mismanaged, that yeah. they are on the brink of extinction, that they're running their clubs into the ground. And that is a, a much more serious problem than not finishing inside the top yes, four. Yes, Not but- challenging. For, I, all I was going to say was, as well as running a club financially carefully, you also have to cater for the expectations of the fans because you're running the club for the supporters. You've That's, got to yes. remember who you're running it for. Well, this is... The, this exactly. Is, yeah, go on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, and it's, it, it's like... Mate, this is the thing. This is the thing, yeah? It's like, you work all week. You know what I mean, family? You grow up as a kid. You've got, you got the quilt cover. you got the pillowcase. you got the picture on the wall. You know? And you see it coming year after year after year. Like, all due respect, it ain't Millwall. We're not having down. It's not Oxford. We want a bit more than passion. We want that as a minimal, but we want to win things. We're a champion club, you know. Well, this and is you the, dream, this, and you look yeah. at them, and when you see your players go out there, you want them, you want them to play like they're living their dream, you know. And it, it ain't there, mate. The point. That's the point I was there. making. This, is this thing it's like football ain't what it used to be. I've had enough. Of it. it ain't, mate. It ain't like it, how it used to be. We, it, it's it, there's something really kind of distasteful. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth now. Football, you know what I mean? And it, it, it ain't. It's like it, it, it's lost a lot of its passion. I mean, the demographic of the fans over the Arsenal now, do you know what I mean? It's like, they don't know the songs. They don't, they don't know the spirit of the club. You ask them who's captain in 1975 and 1968, you ask them anything, it ain't, it ain't like that anymore. I don't... I yeah, but Tom, like, Tom, what? Tom, the, Tom, the thing is, is that I'm getting all that and I, t- I totally understand how you feel, but and, until somebody, um, until somebody gets in touch with, with Stan Kroenke and he actually realises that he has a, 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 a responsibility now, to the fans to tell us what his intentions are, tell the fans what his intentions are for the club, him, his son, somebody, because it's get to the stage now where you, people are saying they don't want to go. You know what I mean? People are saying they don't want to go. The, the, the fact that the manager is still there, you know, if he was gone, who's going to come in now simply because there's no football people in there apart from maybe Ken Fryer. It's, you, you can't just take Arsene Wenger out and think that the problem's going to be solved because we get a manager. If a new manager's going to come, what's he going to say? If we don't get in the top four, why would Simeone come? Why would Allegri come? Why would Tuchel come? These, pl- these managers that people are talking about. These decisions should have been made from the people upstairs, the people who are able to make the decisions, but they're silent. They don't say anything. They're happy with everything, how it's going. They're not bothered. They feel like we're... In America, the franchises that they've got, they don't get relegated. He's not bothered. They just keep turning money. He thinks that we're the same. And in a certain way, we are the same because we won't get relegated, but we'll keep turning over money. And he's not bothered how we're performing, whereas the fans are leaving. On that point about no football people being involved high up in the, in the club, Richard got in touch to make exactly that same thing. He said it's interesting how no club legends are involved in Arsenal, unlike at Liverpool. The news out that Steven Gerrard had been promoted to the under-18 manager yeah. and will be doing that next season, bringing in a lot of the, the, the ex-players as, as club ambassadors. Yeah. Look, we've heard from, from a Tom... Clearly, hugely passionate Arsenal supporter. We've heard from you, right? We've heard from various Arsenal supporters. 